Okay, so now we have our William Tell Overture theme. A few things to notice in this. First of all, this song has a lot of accents. Our accents are these sideways carrots there. If I didn't have you two, I want you to go through and color over those accents so that they stand out. And remember, our accents are going to come out hard and heavy, almost like an elephant sits on our wrist right there. So it's going to just be a nice drop down. Okay, so you can see that drop down and that's going to come down hard and heavy on those notes. Okay, another thing to notice right here, your left hand chords before they're on a C and a G, notice that my bottom note here goes down one. It's going to step down from C down to B. So pay attention to that. We also have some hand position changes here. You're jumping from your C chord down to your A chord. Remember, G is our ground floor line here. A would be the step above. So that's going to be down to an A. Okay. We also have your hand jumps back up all the way up to middle C there. That's a big jump. I'm going to want you to practice that a few times. And then we have our first and our second ending. So if you remember, those are like our video games. We actually have our backwards repeat here. So remember how you go through. You hit save here at the backwards repeat. You keep going. And when you get to here, you have your choice between your first ending and your second ending. You take path one. You die and you go back to your save in your video game, right? You keep going on. And when you get here, instead of taking path one, you want to take path two and you end the song. So the second time through, you're going to skip that first section. And when you get that repeat, you repeat from the backwards repeat sign. Okay? So let me play this for you. Let's see if I can adjust that. Mm -hmm. 